how to add checkout custom field to Shopify checkout page. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to add a custom field to your checkout page on Shopify. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over Shopify.com. Then you are going simply to search for an app called, or you can go ahead and type on the search bar. For example, here, checkout. I'm going to type checkout. Uh, then we are going to see here, I'm going to set here check out like this. Then we are going to see on the Shopify store what we will have. So for the checkout, you can go ahead and see here uh, custom, for example, if you want to make some uh, precise, uh, as you can see here, our search, you can go ahead and type custom checkout fields. Then it will show you here um, the multiple, as you can see here, uh, fields customization for uh, the checkout. So we have this one, check out custom fields by Akia. We have Quickify, check, uh, check out customizer and etc. Choose here the most convenient for you, then you are going to install it. For my case, I will go ahead and use the Quickify. Because Quickify is built for Shopify, as you can see here, we have the diamond uh, logo or the diamond icon on it, which is uh, a sign for built for Shopify. That means that it will work well with our store. So we are going to install it. Here we have uh, the uh, installation process. We are going to grant the installation. So we are going to click on install. Then we are going to wait for Quickify to uh, upload their content on the uh, page right here. We are going to see here uh, the dashboard. Now we are going simply to click on the pin right here at the top to pin it to our navigation so we can not uh, lose the side of it. So here we have everything installed. We are going to click on go to your customization. So here we have the customized uh, payment methods. And also we have customized shipping methods. So you can rename, reorder and hype payment methods. Also rename, reorder and filter delivery options. So go ahead and choose one of these two options. You can add some actions. For example, here, customized payment. You can rename the, uh, the methods. And for example, right here, if I want to rename the methods, here we are going to see here the action title, the rename payment method, for example, right here. Here we have it. Uh, you can go ahead, for example, this case, we have select payment method. You can enter a payment or rename this specific area, which will be, for example, here, uh, select payment method. Let's say here, I'm going to put here Stripe. So you are going to rename it to something else if you want. And you can add another thing, for example, name is or name content or contains right there. Here's something like Shopify payments. You can go ahead and, and rename it to something else. For the condition, you can put all, all rules pass or or any rules pass. Here you can add so many um, conditions that you want. In my case, I will discard these because this is not for uh, my subject. You can add, for example, here, another action from this uh, green button, but here we have the three same options. So you can go ahead and visit the customization also. You can customize the shipping uh, here customization you can go ahead and rename also here the shipping method you can go ahead and enter a shipping method if you have the name of it to rename it to something else 
So you can type something like S or the name is uh, contains S, for example, shipping like this. And also here you are going to put it here, express, for example, shipping. And uh, these names would be on the, uh, as you can see, the checkout. I'm going to give you a hint on the checkout. So we are going to visit our, here, our cart. We are going to add a subject or a product to it. Now we are going to check out. So here we have the cases. As you can see here, we have the delivery. So if you have, for example, something like delivery, delivery, like this, you're going to name it to something like uh, express here uh, shipping so if you want to do that you're going to set it like this then you can go ahead and here we have the shipping method so you're going to refresh and the delivery right here this is not what i wanted to do but normally it will change the cases right away here on the delivery code it will take a little bit of time for the shipping, also the delivery, you can go ahead and wait for a few uh, clicks of uh, here, refresh, and you will see it right away. And you can add, for example, here, some uh, custom fields also. So here we have the rename, and also you can uh, go ahead and make the customization uh, here on these customization of the checkout page you are not very free to add uh, the fields so you are going to only customize the fields and not add uh, the specific fields for example if you have uh, the customization or the right to customize something on your checkout you can only code it or you can add a code to add a field and but for the app you are going only to customize the names and also the content the content of the field for example if you have uh, made the decision to uh, download or install the checkout plus here as you can see extension you will see that we have the same thing for example here we have the payment customization we have the shipping, we have the order validation, and etc. You cannot add a specific field. Yeah, here uh, only for those who knows coding, they can add uh, the custom field. But here you can only customize the field. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content, and hope to see you soon on the next one.